Did you know that there are only about a hundred people in the entire universe who can show their naked bodies in public and nobody will laugh? It's true. Think about that. Most people take off their clothes and you go, what is that on her leg? And that's what makes the movies of Andy Sedaris so incredible because these are some of the best looking people on the planet. Hundreds of them in every Andy Sedaris movie ever made. And Andy is a former ABC sports director who has made an entire career of movies about Playboy Playmates who are actually federal undercover agents. And tonight's movie, Guns, features not four, not five, but six Playmates, including three-time breast actress, drive-in Academy Award winner Donna Spear and Mr. Eric Estrada himself. And here to explain the hidden philosophical meanings in the movie Guns is the writer and director himself, Mr. Andy Sedaris. Hi, Andy. Well, Welcome back. Thank you, Joe Bob. After that intro, I think I'd just better walk on out of here. I can't, you know, I can't top that. You can't. Well, <laughs> how'd you come up with that title, Guns? Uh, I just, it's, it, I'm a visionary, and that helps, you know. <laughs> no. And uh, it's about selling of guns, so I said, what about a little title called Guns? Well, and everybody, you know, Arlene it's simple. And we all just jumped right on it. Thought it was yeah. terrific. It's simple. It's and direct. It's, it's and, male. And if you spot me the G and the S, I can spell it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Another male thing that you have in all your movies is hot tub scenes. Yeah, there's got to be a lot of hot tub scenes, which is... Uh, it gets into uh, the electricity of heating those little puppies can get up there, so we have to watch it on the budget. Just, you know, we have to get them all done at one time. <laughs> uh, How did that tradition get started? You, you sometimes have three or four hot tub yeah, scenes in a movie. Yeah, when in doubt, you either go to the naked body, as you were pointing out earlier, or to the hot tub. And our whole, which includes naked bodies. Which includes naked bodies, and our, our whole thing is these girls love to show their bodies. It's part of the thing that, you know, they always go around saying, well, you know, it's art. Well, it is art, and uh, I mean, we have always said, Arlie and I were talking once about, you know, good actresses, and they're not Ethel Barrymore, but have you ever seen Ethel Barrymore in a G-string? This is also the movie where you have the transvestite hitmen, right? Yes, we do. We have those guys that, well, they were weird, too. Every time I look up, I'd say, guys, you know, you don't want to come out to, when we're having, you know, when there's a break at night, we're having dinner, you got to take off the lipstick. You know, they were staying in character 24 hours yeah, a day. Yeah, right? they were a couple of weird dudes. They were wonderful kids. Uh, Richard Cancino and Chuchu Malavi, they, they were two hit men that just were, they'd screw up a one-car funeral. <laughs> they really, they were. <laughs> but then we're continuing with them. They're in all four of our last pictures. So they're, yeah. they're and they're, they're like the, uh, they're like the uh, Roadrunner kind of guys, you know. Okay, yeah. And also in this movie, we've got nude oil wrestling. Yeah. Now, we how was that integral to this plot, Andy? It, it well, uh, I just happened to see an ad in, in the newspaper for the Tropicana Wrestling. They went by and looked at those girls and said, that uh, the world needs to see this. And so we got a little gal named Kim Allen who lives here in Dallas and a girl named Donna Spangler. And we just said, uh, can y'all wrestle? And they, they said, no. I said, well, that's, that's good. And so we put the oil on them and they wrestled. <laughs> and, uh, and they were terrific. And we, had, uh, and we have Mr. Universe there, you know, John Brown. And, uh, yeah. and Eric Estrada was wonderful in this picture. He's just a I terrific guy. He, this is, uh, he had never played a bad guy. So, uh, you know, from going around with Chip saying, you know, uh, show me the, your license. He's now had a chance to really hang out and let it all let it all hang out. So he was he was terrific, and uh, he saved a woman's life uh, in in the hotel. We were actually having lunch one day, and she started choking. It tells you the kind of food we have at these hotels and the places we're staying, Henderson, Nevada. And he went over and did that that Heimlich maneuver, that hemlock thing, yeah, yeah. and then and gave her one of those, and then then breathed in her mouth. She was ugly, so you know he wasn't kissing her. You know, Eric's got some strange tastes, but I don't think... Um, and he saved her life, and it was wonderful. But he and he was great well, with great. autographs. Donna Spear is terrific in this picture. We had uh, in, in, in Guns this picture that they're about to see, and uh, Phyllis Davis, remember her from Vegas, that series Vegas? She's yeah, in this picture. Yeah, I do remember She's her. really terrific. She and plays the mother of one of the She plays the mother of Donna. Mm -hmm. And uh, Danny Trejo was a, a really fine character actor we had in this picture. He just gotten out of prison uh, before he did this one and he has a big old tattoo on him we're going to use him again because we want to he's got a tattoo of a of a mexican girl with a hat and everything you know he had to write that into the plot mexican somehow i think that's going to be in there we'll write a plot with that that'll take me about oh 20 30 minutes to come up with that and we'll, we'll uh, write something about maybe there's some words in there that are that are secret words written in that woman's hat I hate to give away these plots because I don't want anybody Absolutely. out there. There's you know, a lot of people out there watching this. Now, so you know, come on TV and plagiarism oh, no, and all that. How yeah. It comes out. yeah, no. So it's that we're going to have that, and we've got um, we had the guns. I think the people are going to like this picture. There's a lot of good stuff in there. there okay, well let's watch it. Oh, we've let's got, do. We've I got think. eleven breasts. Yeah. 
That's a low number for you. Well, I guess you had a profile on one. Is that yeah, it? we did. We had a tag or a toga we have or a, You know, that only comes out even numbers, doesn't it? Yeah, normally it does. Ooh. That's strange for a editing. There, I on thought this I'd one. shot a one-breasted woman and uh, forgotten about it. You know, you tend or to. It could be like Total Recall, that three-breasted <laughs> woman right. in there. Fourteen dead bodies, three motor vehicle chases with crash and burn, one exploding character actor. You blew up an actor, didn't you? Andy? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, an actor killed Lincoln. Remember that. I don't think too much of him. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I can kill one off, we do it. And yeah. of course, we have the moment we wait for in every Andy Sedaris movie, that magical moment when Donna Spears says, I'm hitting the shower. <laughs> Four stars, and what a rated hit. R. Yeah. Check it out, and then I'll be back with more from Andy Sedaris. You just sit at your typewriter and you write on there, I'm hitting the shower, don't yeah, you? And yeah. then when Donna says, why do I have to take off my top? You say, well, the script calls for it. It's you necessary to the plot. You can't shower fully dressed. It just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. That, that is how it works. I yeah. thought so. Yeah. Right.